bookings that have already happened. Um, you know, so obviously trying to make sure that uh, those uh, tourists or those visitors are reassured. I think we can all agree that what has happened or what did happen at Caracol was unprecedented. It's not the normal. Um, and the news circulating is, while it's still local, yes, it, there is some traction that it's building internationally. But for the most part, and at least from the feedback we receive from the tourists who are actually there, um, you know, they understand that it's an isolated event, um, that it does speak to something that's a lot larger than, um, than what could be kind of controlled within the tourism ambit. Um, but I think a lot of the tourists who were there went on to have their vacations, enjoy their vacations, uh, spoke, gave really good reviews, especially of the tour guides that were there. I think our major concern is just making sure that we can support the efforts that some of the other agencies and organizations on the ground are doing to strengthen security um, and to strengthen the patrols in that area uh, so we can make sure that Caracol is open again and that um, they're seeing increased visitors because that is also part of, um, you know, it's part of Belize's effort as well to get people out there to hopefully, uh, you know, I don't want to say keep people, keep some of the incursions from happening because of, you know, we can't necessarily do that, but at least to ensure that there's activity there, that there's increased patrols and doing that in, in so far as we can, 